If the unregulated realm of the automated car is the Wild West, Audi could be the next Billy the Kid. Its all-new A8 luxury sedan is positioned to be the first vehicle to offer a level 3 self-driving capability. Like the actual Wild West, the highly autonomous version is filled with the unknown and uncontrollable, but here the threats are regulation and liability, not gunslingers. Accordingly, Audi still won't say whether the first car with self-driving capability will actually be allowed to drive itself when it goes on sale in the United States in the fall of 2018. Either way, the 2019 A8 poses a genuine threat to Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Cadillac. It is taller, longer, more isolated from the road, yet better controlled than the A8 it replaces. It is a cruise missile for the wealthy. It flattens mountains and straightens freeways with ease. And even absent traffic jam pilot, the official term for the headline self-driving feature, it's quite likely the most technologically advanced car in the world. At launch, the A8 will be available with one engine, a single turbo 3.0-liter V6 good for 340 horsepower and 369 pounds to foot of torque. Shortly thereafter, by the end of 2018, a twin-turbo 4.0-liter V8 with 460 horses will follow. Both power plants get limited hybrid assistance, thanks to the use of an alternator that doubles as a starter Baz, for belt alternator starter in Audi Lingo, an arrangement that powers a 48-volt electrical system. The alternator starter is good for 16 horsepower during energy recuperation and 9 horsepower when assisting the gasoline engine. Its purpose, according to Alexander Cruz, the Audi engineer responsible for the development of the BAS system, is to assist the gas engines in achieving their most efficient operating RPM the sooner, thus improving fuel economy. The BAS will add torque to the powertrain mix, but its contributions are at the low end, nowhere near the peak output of the engines. Audi's German planners tell us the W12 engine will not come to the United States despite its being offered in previous A8s, but U.S. representatives for the company aren't yet willing to admit it. We're not holding our breath. Both the V6 and V8 engines are paired with ZF's paddle shiftable 8 speed automatic transmission, and Quattro all-wheel drive is standard. EPA estimates aren't yet available, but it's safe to say that Audi didn't make the A8 a hybrid so it could be less efficient than the car it replaces, which yielded a combined 22 miles per gallon when fitted with the supercharged 3.0-liter V6. For those with mileage at the top of their desires, a plug-in hybrid model offering 449 combined horsepower and equipped with inductive charging capability will arrive in early 2019. Rob Stone, two damn phones, Babylon's came.